All right, let's take a look at how we add the LinkedIn event specific image pixel using Google Tag Manager. Now, we might need to do this if, for example, we have a contact form that does not redirect to a thank you page. So, for example, on our contact page at getfoundmadison.com, when someone selects get in touch with us, it still stays on slash contact. There's no slash thank you page. So when you're in your LinkedIn ad account, you can create your main, obviously you should implement your insight tag, and we recommend doing that via Google Tag Manager. I'll reference that in just a second. But then your conversion tracking, when you're right inside here in your LinkedIn ad account, and you create a new conversion, here are the two options. Select a conversion method, the site-wide insight tag, and that's recommended, and then it's, does the URL contain, start with, or exactly equal whatever you put in here? But since we don't have a thank you page in this case, we need to use the event specific pixel. And so we've already got triggers and things set up in Google Tag Manager. And what we're going to need to do is copy this piece here. So in this case, what I'm going to do is we'll say uh, contact page form completed. So I'm creating a new account asset, a conversion tracking action. And this is actually going to be a lead for us. I'm not going to fill in a value or change the conversion window or views. I can apply it to specific campaigns if I want to do for now. I just want to set it up. So instead of having a URL, I got my event specific pixel. And in the directions, which I just recently found that uh, LinkedIn published here telling us how to do this, it says copy the code for the event specific pixel, but only get the URL. So I believe that means just this piece that starts with the HTTPS and go through the end of that and copy that. That's my understanding of that. And so we can create this piece here. So this, is, this will be created in the LinkedIn side, and notice my contact page form completed conversion action, the status is unverified. So we actually need to send one in to show that it works. So the way I use that, I do that is I have Google Tag Manager running on my site. I've got triggers already based on a contact form submission. In this case, we're using Gravity Forms and WordPress. So we've got one that's specific to, where's our contact page in here? I'll just control F for it. Gravity form contact page, we just said trigger type was form submission and then certain form we, we put in form ID equals whatever the gravity form ID was. This seems to work okay for us. So we're gonna use that. We use that in our other tags here. You can see we have that referenced as like an AdWords conversion here. So I've got a couple LinkedIn tags running right inside Google Tag Manager. You can see down here, I've got my LinkedIn Insights tag, and luckily that's a native one right inside Google Tag Manager. So I've got that running on all pages and I can just select LinkedIn Insight and put in my partner ID right there. So when we wanna track another form, so I've got one set up for another page and now I'm gonna set one up for the Contact Us page so you can see how we do it. So I'll do a new tag and we'll, I'm just gonna label this so I know what it is later at a glance. LinkedIn Contact Page, I'll say Contact Form Completed. I'll keep page in there just because I have forms on different pages, so I'll know what we're talking about. All right, and we go to tag configuration. Now I'm looking for this custom image option over here. So I'll select that, and now we're ready for the image URL. So I can paste that in, and again, according to LinkedIn, we don't grab the whole code. We just grab that HTTPS onward piece of that up to through the through but not including the close quote. That's my interpretation of that, and it seems to work okay for me. It does also mention unchecking this. So disable cache busting, and then a trigger, I'm just gonna select the trigger I already had, but you may need to set up your own form submission trigger and test it. So where's my, I got control F again here. Contact, and spell it right, there we go. Gravity, gravity contact page form, there we go. So I've got the trigger now connected to this tag, and I'll save it, and it's always good to test in preview mode. So I'm gonna hit preview here. And when that's ready, I'm gonna reload my contact page here. And now I see I, down below, I've got the helper. And I can see all the tags that have fired on this page. These are the kind of the general ones. Uh, looks like I need to check on my Google Ads form submission one, because that should not be fired. I'll come back to that. But then the tags not fired on this page of interest here, LinkedIn contact page form completed. That's what we're about to test. So let's see if it fires correctly. I'll fill out this contact form here and just mention that it's testing LI tracking, just so I know what it is. And I'll complete the form and now notice, notice a number of these have hopped up here. 
but in particular, I'm looking down here of the tags fired on this page, the LinkedIn contact page form completed. That's exactly what I wanted. So now that this is ready, one thing I also note is I go back to LinkedIn. Notice this has been unverified. There's not a good pixel helper that I found like the um, Chrome one up here. It's like for Google Tag Assistant or the uh, Facebook pixel helper or things like that. I haven't found one for LinkedIn. So this is kind of the method I use. Uh, let me publish this and test it again and just see if that does it. In my LinkedIn tag, so I'm in Google Tag Manager, in Tags, and I go down to that one I just made, LinkedIn contact page form completed. The image URL has conversion ID 418, whatever that was, 177 or whatever. I can't seem to get it in there. There we go. So 418177. Uh, that is from, I copied it from this. If you're watching closely, you may have seen that. Don't copy from their example, copy from your own account. So when I go back into my, I'll just look at this again so you can see it. When I go to account assets conversion tracking, I've got this one that's unverified because I put, didn't plug in the ID. And I actually want my conversion ID to be this, not the one from their example. So that's helpful. So let's try that again. Let's copy the URL and let's hop over here and put in the correct one into Google Tag Manager. So this is in the tag now, and I've got my actual conversion ID is 717225. That matches this here. Hey, that looks a lot better. So I'll save this in LinkedIn, and I'll save this over here. Let's see what happens if I do publish this. Now we'll go to the contact page and test the live one. Here we go, come on now. And submitting, but let's hop over one more time and just see if LinkedIn is receiving. I'm gonna shift refresh, do a hard refresh, see if that does anything for us. Hey, there we go. So contact page form completed. This conversion status is now active, so we're set up and running. So we're able to track a contact form submission in LinkedIn as a conversion, even if it does not redirect. Hey, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, it's part of my larger course called Digital Marketing Mastery. It's at mydigitalmarketingmastery.com. I'll leave a link below, and I'll also leave a link to the very first class in the course if you'd like to see that. We go through step-by-step step how to do digital marketing on your own, and you might find it really helpful. All right, have a good one.